Good day again to you children. In this video, you will learn to read and write decimal numbers through hundreds. So get ready, stay focused, and learn. How to read a decimal number There are three steps to follow in reading and writing a decimal number. The first is to read the whole number to the left of the decimal point. Second is, read the decimal point as end. And finally, read the digits to the right of the decimal point as a whole number, followed by the place value of the rightmost digit. An example is 0 0.26. Read the whole number 0, the decimal point as end. Then 26, and the place value of 6 which is hundredths. Or simply we can read that as 26 hundredths. Another example is 2.15. Read the whole number 2, decimal point as end then 15, and the place value of 5 which is hundredths, or 2.15 hundredths. One more example is 0 0.768. We can read that as 0 and 768 thousandths. Thousandths, because the place value of the rightmost digit 8 is thousandths. Or simply we can read that as 768 thousandths. How to write a decimal in words and symbols. Just the same steps in reading it. Write the whole number, then the decimal point as an or point. Then the decimal digits as the whole number followed by the place value of the rightmost digit. An example is 45 hundredths in a decimal symbol. Write 0, next is the decimal point, and 45. We know we have two decimal places when in hundredths. So let's make sure of it. Therefore our answer is 0 0.45. The next example is 7 tenths or we can read as 0 and 7 tenths to make it easier to write in symbol. Write 0 as a whole number, then and, as the decimal point and 7. Tenths has only one decimal place. Therefore, our answer 0 0.7 tenths is correct. And the last example is 8 hundredths, or 0 and 8 hundredths. Write the whole number 0, after is the decimal point, and 8. Since hundredths have two decimal places, we have to move 8 one place to the right. And put 0 to the tenths place. Therefore, we have the answer 0 0.08 hundredths. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates. I hope you learned something from our lesson today. Goodbye. See you on the next video lesson.